Good morning dear students. Today the topic of the class is a brief introduction about DFT, discrete Fourier transform and FFT, fast Fourier transform. What is DFT used for? DFT is a mathematical tool which is used for transforming a discrete time sequence x of n of finite length into discrete frequency sequence x of k of finite length. So, DFT is a trans is used for transforming x of n to x of k. Coming to the definition of DFT, the DFT of a discrete time sequence x of n is x of k and is defined as x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N where this k is varying from 0 to n minus 1. So, what is DFT? DFT is used to convert a finite discrete time sequence x of n to an n point frequency sequence x of k. Now, to reconstruct the x of n from x of k, we use another mathematical tool that is known as IDFT, inverse discrete Fourier transform. The IDFT of an n point frequency domain sequence x of k is defined as x of n is equal to 1 by capital N, summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e to the power j 2 pi n k by capital N, where small n is varying from 0 to n minus 1. So, what is IDFT? IDFT is used to convert n point frequency domain x of k to a finite time domain sequence x of n. What are the two important applications of DFT? Why you in, we need to study about DFT? The two important applications of DFT are it allows us to determine the frequency content of a signal that is to perform the spectral analysis. The second important application of DFT is it is used to perform filtering operation in the frequency domain. So, DFTs are used in frequency do domain either for spectral analysis or for filtering operation. Then what is the FFT? FFT stands for fast Fourier transform. It is a method or an algorithm for computing DFT with reduced number of calculations. And so, what is fast Fourier transform is clear that it is used for increasing the computation speed of DFT. This is achieved by utilizing the symmetry and periodicity property of the Tweedle factor that is w n to the power k. In the next class we will see about the Tweedle factor w n to the power k. Thank you.